Hello guys, welcome back to another video about um Algidu and today we're gonna be doing a race in this very muddy field. Don't there's like no what is this? I'm just gonna change this. But anyways, um we ha I recently made this car a little while ago before I made uh, this meeting and it's really cool. It has axle suspension that spreads. It's a unique kind of suspension in Algodoo. And it's probably that a lot of people won't use because it's just a little bit weird. And then, yeah, this car might look a little bit underwhelming at first. Uh, I mean, it just look like any other normal car, but I mean, it's cool. It's cool, but the first thing we are missing, the one thing we are missing is making another car, so here it is guys, um, that's not a hard of a job what it is, well, it does kind of look boring, uh, uh, wait, um, now, now you'll notice one flaw with this, and that is um the lights are like, um are like, almost hitting the wheel. Well, the red indicator lights are right now. No, but this one is just flawless. So these things are made by two companies, Springs Joyride and Axel Spackle. And they might sound like I just made them up right now because I did. But obviously, as you might have seen right now, you guys might be like sticking towards the axle spackle because it looks more cool. It has even a fr fancy brake. Uh, and has a lot of things that the Springs Joyride Company car didn't have, except for the flag, of course. And you guys may have noticed there's this test sitting in the back of the race, and this thing is not involved in the race. And you might already, and that might be because it's just facing in the opposite direction. And that's it, and this thing's purpose is to deliver these cars back to the starting line after they have went all the way through the tracks. And the end is like here, but I just... Um, just quickly, I'm just gonna expand it a few more meters. But, uh, without further ado, let's get this race started. I could. So, um, let's bring the Springs Joyride a little bit closer. Now, um, I think I might want to select this at the different layering because that will affect stuff here let's set it to b and i you know what let's, why not F b and i wait no wait, oh <laughs> let's keep that there all right so chances are i got the layering sword sorted and everything should came yep it it now the race could now each car could overtake the other one they wanted but uh, as a rule, everyone should have their brakes on, and let's go. Everyone in the same starting space in here, and let's see who can go, who wins. Three, two, ding, one, go! Every, the, each of these ones are at like 50... 5,000 ND and are moving at 450 RPM. Um, Alright, this is the, for this car. Let's get another speedometer for for the next car. Alright, oh, the flag. Oh no, the, <laughs> the cover is facing the wrong angle. Alright, let's fix that. No! What's that? Well, anyways, these cars should come along, uh, slightly next to no problem. Oh, the wheel just is lodged that. So they have, like, bouncy lights. I don't know why, but, 
but they're just a little bit funny, you know? Oh! Oh, and while this race is going, we're almost at 90, we're almost at 100 subscribers, everyone, so be sure to subscribe, and once we hit 100, I'll do a video just for uh, uh, the 100 subscribers celebration, and are you kidding me? Come on. It's just so bouncy, they just kept going in the air. And that bounciness might lead to another more bouncy path. And as we get to a different terrain here, as simulated by overlapping chunks of uneven terrain. This thing is also for the suspension, but for you guys, this may look like uh, some kind of sports car in bumpy terrain. And that's like, you know, like, uh, that's a bit weird, come on racing sports car in a bumpy terrain like why don't you make off-road cars um well you can really do much in you know, oh the oh the the springs what's all ever cars catching up uh not uh, ah there's this mosquito See, you know, wait, wait, <laughs> there's this mosquito that's trying to, uh, intimidate me, and, uh, uh, <coughs> not again, S stop it, this is not funny, you know, I don't want you to tip over, okay, hmm, and not, are you kidding me, I think I might try to solve a problem, now you, now I did, now, either that or this car is just driving way too fast into the bumps. So, we should do something on the suspension here. Like this, but we need to increase the dampening. But, it means that, um, it will also kind of increase the spring constant. Which is the description of what I'm hovering at. So, let's say it did to say 2000. And that's not as strong as it's going to be used to. But, nah! Come on, man, you're just not making us any fun, do you? I mean, what do you expect? Breaks! <laughs> mm, Alright, so the thing is that if I want to, I can activate breaks. So, so maybe I could just keep an eye on this guy and just for it not to tip over so when it he does tip over I can use the brakes on him because I bet brakes could help all right oh he's catching up he might be catching up oh the bird the brakes no dang it is dang it he just found a new way to flip over He just could be a little fast with a train here. Mm. I just create some weird terrain here. Oh, alright. I'm just getting more panorite about this thing flipping over. The difference is that this thing is traveling 20 meters per second slower, and it's flipping over. Maybe to the lack of motivation I got. No, yeah. I didn't do any testing in here, so this is like, this is not like a practice course or testing. This is the main run here, what we're having. Mm. Alright, I might, I think we might be almost there. There's Frank in his car. And he's just chilling. Oh! Alright! <laughs> I managed to invert the scar from tipping over. That's just a bit annoying, you know, here. Here. Because I just want cause to not flip over. Are you kidding me? Why? I just wanted to absorb bumps, but, um, it's just not doing its job for some reason, you know? Maybe it's this thing? We had to 
Maybe it's this thing that might be causing the problem? Let's see, let's in remove all the layers. And let's see if that does any help. I just like to make sound effects. Oh, it's... Oh, it could be catching up. It's going back it's to its former speed. It could be catching up now. Oh, it's now trying to catch up. Oh, it's try Oh, it's catching up with the... Uh, with the Axel Spackles car. Oh, but it just doesn't... All it needs is to not flip over. Are you kidding me? It still flips over. Maybe we can just set, but we might have to throw the the flap away. Um, it's trying to hang on here. Oh, <laughs> it's trying to hang on in the car. It's still in the car with it. Oh, it's not anymore. Well, I just reduced. Oh, what happened there? Oh. <laughs> All right, cars fix it. Are you kidding me? Huh. Yeah, and you just be fixed and not any. So. All right, so that's why I need a flap. That's why I need a flap. Well, I don't know why do I keep calling it flap, even though it's not. Are you sick? Oh, okay, okay. Okie dokie. Let's just give thing this the speed boost to compensate for the loss now. Alright. Um, it's going. I mean, it's going. Oh. Alright, let's see how things are doing for the axle spackles. Pretty good. Just chilling. Um. Um. Yeah, hmm. All right. Oh, I just, I just realized just came off from a big jump. Did I add rams in this race? Are you kidding me? I just increased the strength of the spring and it still did that. You know what? Let's just add the flat back. Um, let's just make it, let's just make it a rectangle instead. All right, let's see. Let's just have it, um, B and uh, you know, just in case. Let's make it heavy as well. Oh, and also, speed boost! Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna take pity of the- Ding, 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 ding,